What's up, you guys? Did you order your Palo Santo from my Etsy shop yet? I cleanse the space of all negative energy and command that only love, light, and positive energy may enter. I cleanse you of all negative energy and command that only love, light, and positive energy may enter. Yes. You've been cleansed and cleared. All right. Now go order some Palo Santo from my Etsy shop. I'll leave a link to the... I'll leave a link to my Etsy shop in the description box below. Get that third eye real good, too. Get your third eye real good, too. There you go. All right. I hope you guys are doing really amazing. Let's read some energy. <clears throat> Ancestors of Highest White Light, what is the message? Somebody needs to speak their truth. We've got the King of Wands, someone who is successful in all that they do. King, queen, the cards are not gender specific to you guys. Just remember that, okay? So it could be male or female. Hmm. Okay, somebody might need some lapis lazuli again uh, uh, with, with speaking your truth. Um, we've got the justice card here. So um, <clears throat> the message that I'm receiving is uh, speaking your truth with regards to um, with grace towards yourself, okay? Uh, not creating any conflict, really. Not creating any waves or discrepancies in the universe. I'm seeing the High Priestess in my mind's eye. So this is somebody who just knows and follows their path and just does what they need to do. Okay? What else, Spirit? Yeah, the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is someone who, um, who trusts their knowing, their inner knowing. She's also an empath, very sensitive to other people's energy, um, but she's very grounded in her own energy, so she is able to follow her heart. Um, what else, spirit? And again, remember that the cards are not gender specific, so this could be male or female. The Empress, too. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you are full of creative energy right now. Wow. You might be... Um, the message that I'm receiving is make sure that you are focusing on joy, okay? I feel like you're somebody who is very passionate, gets things done, um, and right now the message that I'm receiving is that you are kind of feeling out your surroundings and um, figuring out where you need to go and what you need to do. And um, there might be something, again, where you need to speak about something, I don't know, I'm or understand something in an intellectual way I like I just keep seeing lapis lazuli um, so maybe journaling would be helpful for somebody or somebody needs to speak their truth um, to a, a divine counterpart a lover who you've been separated from okay the lover is in the reverse position what else spirit ancestors of the highest white light yep speak with uh, Speak your truth with fairness to yourself, okay? Answers of the high white light, what else? Somebody also might need some cal- or I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing yellow calcite. I'm hearing, uh, citrine. And I'm also hearing, um, uh, sacral chakra, carnelian. Carnelian. To help cleanse your sacral chakra. What else, spirit? So maybe somebody needs to take a bath and then uh, meditate and uh, speak their truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want any chaos. I've got the Five of Wands here uh, in the reverse position. Um, I'm also hearing visualize your, um, uh, keep your vision or visualize your, uh, the outcome that you'd like to see, okay? And this will help you to, to communicate what it is that you're trying to communicate. Ancestors of the Highest White Light, what else? Spirit. And you will have a victory. Six of Wands. And maybe get some Palo Santo too and smudge yourself.
Eight of Swords. I feel like before in the past you've been caught in your head about some things, um, but grounding... Um, and also I'm hearing, uh, like, read the energy surrounding you in order to communicate and manifest uh, the best possible outcome, okay? It's important to, um, with regards to manifesting, um, to, to read the energy, our, our external energy, in order to be able to do that. First you need to master yourself to know how to um, then master the world, but you also need to know what variables and how to work the variables on the outside world as well. Um, okay, so definitely somebody's manifesting somebody. We've got the hang, or some, wow, somebody's manifesting somebody, okay? <laughs> that came out, but somebody's definitely manifesting something, okay? We've got the Page of Pentacles here. I feel like there's some incoming abundance, all right? Um, but we've also got the hanged one, so it's like somebody has had a huge aha moment. This is beautiful energy. What else, Spirit, Ancestors of the High Spot Light? Mm -hmm. I do feel like somebody has kind of gotten out of their head, all right? Um, they're ready to put in the work to, um, to, um, to manifest what it is that they want to manifest. Plant some seeds, so to speak. Um, and the seeds that you have been planting, the work that you have been doing, um, is going to be fruitful with the Nine of Pentacles here as well, okay? Also maybe go out in nature and... Um, um, maybe uh, connect with nature a little bit. That will help to ground you as well. It's interesting. I have the King of Wands in the upright position, and then I have the King of Wands in the reverse position. It's like, and then I've also got the Death card. So it's almost like there was somebody who was very pushy, and somebody who uh, may have even had kind of a bad temper, okay? And the message that I'm receiving is that that has been put to rest. This is, this is an ego death. Somebody is having an ego death. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you, all right? If this is you, I'm so proud of you, all right? Um, and I feel like you're learning how to manifest a little bit better, okay? Without creating, without creating chaos, okay? Because you're not stuck in your head anymore, and I feel like you... Um, are you are embracing your feminine side? I feel honestly, I feel like this is a divine masculine who's uh, this. This could very well be a divine feminine, whatever it does. It could be any of them, okay? But I do feel like this is a divine masculine who is learning how to integrate their divine feminine side a little bit more. It's fantastic, and uh, the it's gonna be a party. Yes, you're manifesting your best life. This is fantastic. The Three of Cups also could be, um, you know, a marriage um, as well, you know, a party. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Two of Wands. Somebody might want to come home. Um, <clears throat> Two of Wands in the reverse position also can indicate uh, some, uh, some um, astral travel... Um, Wow, I'm hearing astral travel integration. I don't know, I feel like you and your person might be telepathic communicating, telepathically communicating. It's like one is checking up on the other to see if the other one is ready, so to speak. Um, but also it can be uh, astral travel interference. So um, that may have been why somebody was caught in their head. Um, and I'm just, I was going to say amethyst helps to protect the third eye, but I just keep hearing lapis lazuli. So I feel like somebody really needs lapis lazuli. Wow. Somebody, somebody is like, um, I'm hearing fickle. It's not the word that I was thinking of, but that's the word that's coming out. Um, but I'm hearing like somebody just is like in and out and in and out of situations. And it's like, they couldn't really make up their mind, but it's like, they're starting to, figure out more of what they want and and what's interesting is it's because they're listening more to their heart because they're understanding more of their truth and so they're able to follow their intuition as opposed to just like bouncing in and out of situations I don't know, take what resonates you guys what else do your ancestors of the highest way light? Mm -hmm. yeah I feel like somebody is having a huge awakening it's like yeah, it's, have you guys ever heard the song Mmm by Kai? It's a K-pop song, okay? Um, but at the end of the video, if you guys watch the video, at the end of the video, it's like, he's, he's a fantastic dancer, okay? At the end of the video, it's like, he's dancing and 
like his body like crystallizes and then but he keeps dancing and like this crystallized part of him just kind of like remains here so it's like I don't know how to explain it it's like I don't even know how the fuck I'm uh, you guys should look up the video okay it's mm m m h m m by Kai K A I okay but anyways as he's dancing he kind of like breaks the crystallized part of him and it's like this is what I'm seeing it's like somebody is breaking this past part of themselves all right there wow I'm hearing freedom <laughs> somebody's free somebody's freeing themselves mm -hmm. somebody knows what they want now too and they know what they want it's like somebody knew what they wanted but they couldn't something about how their heart wasn't open or they weren't following their heart or something about that was making it so that they couldn't ground in what they wanted so they weren't manifesting what they wanted so to speak I don't know if that makes any sense but it's like now they are they're they found themselves more they're grounding better and they understand um, better with regards to what they want and um, so there's not going to be any of this in and out in and out so to speak okay um, in the meantime, somebody, I feel like their counterpart has found an inner strength within themselves. This is also the message I'm receiving with the strength card. It's also like somebody has been waiting for this to happen too, because it's like this chick is like just sitting here. It's like I have, okay, so I have like the Knight of Wands and it like kind of landed out like this. And it's like this chick is just kind of like sitting here like waiting like, okay, are you going to come in here and are you going to stay or what? It's just, I don't know. That's the message I'm receiving, okay? Um, what else, Spirit? Answers to the highest white light. Because in the past, this would like get in the way of somebody's work and it would get in the way of, um, but I feel like there's some sort of astral travel interference that was uh, causing this causing them to like not come in or have to go away okay but I've got the ten of uh, swords in the reverse position at uh, the bottom of the deck so I feel like that's not going to happen anymore it's like they're not going to be hurt anymore and maybe that's what it was it was like the pain of them having left uh, kind of lowered somebody's frequency and made it difficult for them to be able to receive the downloads that they needed to, to download okay because whoever you are Whoever the counterpart is, we've got the king and the queen of wands here, all right? So you both, you both are hot shit, all right? You both are successful in what you do, all right? I'm hearing somebody may have just been a little insecure. Um, what else? Their ancestors of the high sweat, right? Yeah, this made them emotionally sloppy, okay? Just take what resonates. But I feel like as you both are aligning with your, your own path, somebody's aligning with their uh, intuitive abilities, and they're also um, learning how to communicate a little bit better. Um, and, and you have found your inner strength and are aligning with your, your path as well. The two are, are, going, are coming together now. What else, Spirit? Yes, it's so nice, right, right. Um, I'm hearing, listen to that voice inside of your head, all right? <laughs> Someone might be clear audience too, Black Obsidian. You might want to get some Black Obsidian too, okay? Oh. Somebody was just kind of blindly doing stuff, all right? They, it was emotionally unfulfilling too, okay? They may have uh, become, uh, or they may have found emotional fulfillment themselves and now they're doing things a little bit more... Um, Um, more um, intentionally, okay? There may have also been a karmic energy that was emotionally unfulfilled that was uh, kind of, yeah, we've got the Sun of Swords, somebody's getting away with some shit, trying to get away with some shit, okay? But judgment was called in. We have divine justice that was called in, okay? So this, per this person went and found themselves, all right? And now they are coming to find you or going to find, if, if you are the one who found yourself, although I feel like both found themselves, uh, you know, I think you guys get the message, right? All of the roles can be, you know, interchangeable, okay? <laughs> what else, Spirit? I feel like that is the end of the reading. Oh my gosh. Oh, and the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. It's 
probably one of the luckiest cards in the deck. All right, I am sending you guys lots of love. I hope that you're doing super, super amazing. Um, if you would like to make a donation to this channel, um, I will leave my PayPal information down below and my Cash App as well. I'm also going to leave a link to my Etsy shop. Um, and that is another way that you can help to contribute to this channel to um, help me to be able to put, continue to put um, content out here, out there, you know. Um, and uh, if you would like a personal reading as well, um, please feel free to contact me, 616-485-3479. Just text me with your name and um, say, hello, my name is, and I'm interested in getting a reading, and then we can, you know, set that up. And um, I feel like I want to pull more cards, but I feel like that was the end of the reading. I hope that you are all doing really, really amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment, too, if you feel called to do that. I do love hearing from you guys, and I'm sending you guys lots of love. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks.